and that's the story of how an angry mob murdered my entire tribe. All except for me. Oh, but well, where are my manners? I'm a furbolg. My friends call me Kill It. Fun little nickname the mob came up with for me. It's short for Kill It With Fire. You guys can be my friends too if you want. So, what brings you to my neck of the woods? Just... Travelling. We haven't had travellers through here since that massacre. Ah, oh, people these days, they just see me and they scream out in terror and run away. Tell you what, it's pretty tough being a furbolg these days. Believe me, as a human male, I know what persecution feels like. Persecution. A human male like you. As a half-elf, I never fit in with either side of my family. I was always caught between two worlds. And both sides always saw too much of the other race in me and they hated me for it. Go on. Oh, no. No, no, no. We are not doing this. We are not sharing our tragic backstories and bonding over it. Hated? You think you were hated? Hello? Tiefling? Cursed bloodline? Possessed by the devil? Is this ringing any bells? Are we... are we having a competition? I spent my entire childhood pooped up inside my manor with my family. Every time I went outside, I had stuff thrown at me. Like tomatoes and cabbages and Brussels sprouts. I'm used to having things thrown at me as well. Fruits, vegetables, <laughs> axes. That one was meant for my family. At least you had a family. My mother died during childbirth and it was left to my father to raise me. I could never live up to his expectations to be the perfect elven woman. Like my mother was. Ah, oh, mothers, huh? My mother was stoned to death by a mob. I really miss her. Oh, boo-hoo! In my family, only boys were allowed to practice magic. Cause fire magic was, was too unpredictable for little girls like me. Oh, speaking of fire, that same mob burned my dad. <laughs> he just wouldn't stop screaming. Luxury! My father tried to marry me off to a nobleman's son, but I'd already met the love of my life when I refused. He threw me out. I remember the love of my life, Honeydew. The mob cut her legs off. <laughs> home just wasn't the same after that. At least you still have a home. I don't. I wanted to prove that, that I could control the flames. And so one night I did. The whole manor was lost in the blaze, along with everyone inside it. I alone rose out of the ashes. And good red, they deserved it! <laughs> Wait, did you burn down your whole house and your family inside it? That doesn't sound too bad, actually. Uh, uh, one, one time I died. Wait, what? Yeah, I was beaten and tortured, and then they killed me, and then they just resurrected me just so they could kill me again. And this wizard, he cast me. And this witch, she, she turned me into a bullywog. And that's how I lost my hands and now I'll never play the piano. Inside check. Do we believe her? Not for a second. What about you? People with happy home lives don't go out hunting dragons. Let me guess, your family was bludgeoned by bandits. Decimated by dragons. Harassed by hags. Sacrificed by sorcerers. Eaten by Ettins. Tortured by tabaxi. Yoked by yarn tea. What the hell, no! My parents are alive and they love me. They even paid for me to go to Bard College. I go home every weekend. We have Sunday roast together. What's wrong with you? Well? I, for one, am certainly glad that we have had an opportunity to get all this negativity all off our chests. So we can go back to just, just being the good friends that we've been for so long. Right, guys? Guys? You're not responding to me. It's like I've gone invisible again. <laughs> Sometimes that just happens. Oh, hey everyone! It's me! Your favourite furbolg, Kill It! Now I'm here to talk to you about fire safety. No wait, that's wrong. Why are we here again? Oh yeah, do you know my favorite friends are Deer Stalker. You can all be my friends too. And you know what friends do? They like and they subscribe. They also buy merchandise like t-shirts, tote bags, mugs, and stickers. You can even buy one of me. Imagine putting a Killit sticker on your drink. Then every time you go to have water, you're having a drink with Killit.
You smash that bell icon. I don't know what a bell icon is. I just hear voices and they're like, please say this. No one speaks back to me. Ever. It's so lonely out here. This isn't even a squirrel. Like and subscribe. Donate to our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be so depressed if you gave me money. <laughs>